Hey guys, so in honor of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, Crimes of Grindelwald, that title is a mouthful. I decided to create my own creature, so today we are creating the S'more Dog. It's a mix between a s'more and a dog, and his name is Toasty. I think this guy's really cute. I love that he's cross-eyed. I loved his smushed face. He tastes like chocolate and he looks darling. So let's get started. I'm Michelle Obama and I'm... I'm ripped. I love Michelle Obama. I don't actually have muscles, but she has muscles for days. Where is this gun show? I'm gonna be in attendance. It's great this cake. I'm using three four inch round cakes. And I just leveled off each of my cakes and then I started to remove the caramelization from the sides and the bottom. And I'm using manila cakes that I dyed blue. I think I did that for winter. I don't know anymore. This was so long ago. Now, not very much is known about s'more dogs, but did you know that they are allergic to getting eaten, you guys? It'll kill them, like literally. Literally, like literally. Like literally. I started my cakes and I added buttercream in between each layer. And I think I'm using vanilla buttercream. It could be cream cheese, I don't remember. Usually I make like one or two cakes a week, but I made too much cake batter and I had leftover buttercream. So I decided to create a third cake this week. And that's how Toasty came about. Now I added on a second coat of buttercream and this is when I realized that I wanted his shape to be more cartoonish. So instead of having his body be straight on the sides, I gave it sort of this concave marshmallow shape. I just cut out some of the cake in the middle, then I gave this baby a crumb coat and placed it in the fridge for about two hours. Now while this baby was in the fridge, I was watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Have you guys watched it? It's very different than the Melissa Joan Hart version that I used to watch when I was younger. There's a lot more Satan in it than I expected but I, I guess it works. I love the tone of the series. I love the way that the Spellman Morg and House looks. And I think that they're gonna have a crossover with Rivendale. They're both produced by the same people. Now, do you like it? Let me know down below. I covered my entire cake with white fondant and I just draped it over the top and then worked it down the sides. I'm gonna cut away the excess cake at the bottom. Now using a sculpting tool, I just tucked the fondant underneath the cake because I didn't want there to be a straight line at the bottom. But I didn't really do a good job. It looks really messy underneath. Once I finished covering the cake, I placed it into the fridge and started to work on my cake stand. Now I know it is very tempting to eat s'more dogs, but you don't have to because you can eat the poop. When a s'more dog poops, he poops out this very tiny s'more and it comes out warm, which is super gross, but also makes it so much more delicious. <laughs> and yo, I know the internet's all about the unicorn poop cookies, but have you ever had a poop s'more? You don't even know. You can't even. I wanted my s'more dog to be standing, so I had to create a structure to hold up my cake. I cut a square piece of fondant out of cardboard, and then I cut the corners off of the square. Now this piece is just as big as my round cake. And using an X-Acto knife, I just punched holes where the corners would be, so I knew how big my structure should be. And I cut four dowels down to be about an inch and a half long, and then I drilled holes into my cake board, right where I made those tiny marks with my X-Acto knife. Now using hot glue to hold all of my dowels in place, I just plunged them into the holes. I placed more hot glue on top and glued my cardboard on top of each dowel. Now the cake isn't that big and it's not really heavy, so the dowels will support this just fine. Now let's do some fondant work. I rolled out some graham cracker colored fondant and I rolled it pretty thick, like, well, all of my fondant's really thick. <laughs> Probably like a third of an inch thick. 
and I placed on top a pattern I created, which was a square, except I extended each of the edges so that I could account for my s'more dog's paws. I just cut out the shape with an X-Acto knife. Now using my fingers, I started to smoothen out the edges of my graham cracker fondant. Because graham crackers don't have a sharp edge and I tried to mimic the shape and the texture of the graham cracker as much as I could. Now s'more dogs are the best for cuddling in the winter because they're constantly at a temperature of 75 degrees. And like when you're like taking a nap and they snuggle up next to you and maybe like they poop by accident and you find this little s'more, you got yourself a snack. And I placed my graham cracker fondant on top of my cardboard and each of my fondant's paws hid the dowel underneath it. And you can still see hints of the dowel, uh, but I didn't really care. And if you're a stickler for that kind of stuff, I'm not really sure how to help you. <laughs> Now using some sculpting tools, I just poked some holes to create the graham cracker texture. You know, they all have those puncture marks so that they don't like puff up. I wanted a really thick layer of chocolate, so I added a square of brown fondant on top. Now I decided to cut a hole into my chocolate layer so that when I placed my cake on top, it would hide the bottom edge because I really looked disgusting. I should have spent more time on this cake, but I was rushing and I don't even remember why I was rushing. It's probably because I was lazy. My s'more dog has graham cracker paws as well as graham cracker ears. So I added another piece of graham cracker colored fondant to the top and created my dog ears. I just used another template I created to get the shape. One of my favorite things about dogs is when they just wake up from a nap and they have one ear standing up and then the other ear is like flopping down and they have this look on their face like what's going on? I live for that look and I wanted my s'more dog to have that. Now to achieve this look I just curved the fondant slightly so that there was enough of an angle to keep most of the ear up. And for the right ear, I didn't really do much, I just let it hang. God, I live for that look, it's so cute. And once I was happy with his ears, I moved on to all of his facial features. And I'm using some crimson fondant to create his mouth. And then I gave him this like ridiculously long pink tongue. There's a lot of like older dogs that lose their ability to keep their tongue in their mouth so it just hangs out the side. I think that's cute too. Now Toasty is inspired by a pug so to create that smashed nose look, first I added two very long teardrops of beige fondant to the sides of his mouth. And to create the center of his snout, I added two balls of beige fondant. And then a big black nose right in the middle of the two balls. Then I gave him two almond shaped eyes. And because I wanted him to be cross-eyed, I placed the catch lights at opposite points of his eyes. Then I added a little more detail to his snout and voila, Toasty the S'more Dog was complete. I created this cake because I like dogs and I eat a lot of s'mores. S'mores are so good. They're like the perfect warm treat for a cold winter's night when you're sitting at home alone because you're single and it's been like six or seven consecutive years without an, a person uh, to call your own and you're just sad and you don't know why nobody wants to. <laughs> so this is my first sort of creature creation. So let me know in the comments what you want me to create next. Give me like two combinations, like an animal and a food. Or it could be an animal and some sort of like inanimate object too. Now s'more dogs were not bred into creation. The first s'more dog was brought to life by Franklin the Snowman, Frosty's son. That's right, this is Toasty's human or snow human. I'll tell you the story of how they met when I post my Franklin the Snowman cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.